I really did not feel like cooking breakfast today. French toast sticks by itself be making my stomach hurt because I honestly don't think they're like the best for me. But finally came up with a beautiful idea. So I had just opened this whole pack of bread yesterday and I ate three pieces with my fettuccine from um, D1 the other night. But it's like I still had a whole pack of bread left, but now I just used eight pieces. Um, so eight, nine, ten, eleven, that's eleven and you know, one day. And I still got to the fourth, to, this is the 22nd, I still got to, to the fourth to finish this bread. So, now I'm making good process, process, progress. So I haven't sat there and made peanut butter jelly sandwiches like that in a long time. The only thing is, um, I really don't be feeling like doing it, but today I was kind of in the mood to make them for some reason. And I knew it was going to be clutch just driving and having four. Well, I might not have four when I start driving, but just driving and having the butter jelly sandwiches. And I knew I did not like, if I didn't eat this, I I probably wasn't going to eat. And it's like, it's cool for right now for, you know, the first five hours, but the next, them like last hours coming through, I'm going to be wanting something to eat, something to snack on. I'm not going to have nothing, but I kind of been you know, trying to work on um, being able to, I'm gonna smack this, at least try to smack whatever I can with some of that. Just try to work on um, not needing to eat. And it's, it's kind of because the other day I heard a guy, I was in the gym and I was talking about my like not drinking I was talking about my diet and I'm not drinking water and he thought I was talking about something else. He's like, you talking about fasting or whatever? And I'm like, no, nah. then he explained that he, he um, don't eat for 14 days or whatever, you know, the fasting thing. I don't know much about fasting, but I have heard of it before that, but it just reminded me that like, you don't like, I don't need to eat every three, four hours. Like it's not physically needed. Like, I feel like, yeah, your body might have some effects, but a lot of people fast, a lot of people live with it. You know, I should be straight. So, um, I'm gonna try to stop, eat, stop, let myself feel like I have to eat, like it just has to happen. Especially if I got food and I can cook later or something, like, cause when I, when I do that, I end up eating something that is not so great, you know, so. And then the food don't really always fill me up anyways. So it's just tasting. Um, I went through something recently and I'm just, even before that happened, I've been in a mood where I just been like, and what I would probably call depression or something, I'm not sure. But I'm in my Nate mood, so I feel like I'm um I'm about to, I'm about to really isolate myself. I haven't posted on Snapchat yesterday. I don't plan on posting on Snapchat. Uh, I'm kind of stopping a lot of people's growth through me, but it's the risk I'm willing to take because. I've been reading books. I've been reading, well, not books. I've been reading the subtle art of not giving a fuck. And the book is good. It's good. And it has some good content in there. Just as a pen, a pen side. Like, not even just like, oh, it taught me. Just hearing other opinions on, you know, things. This other guy's opinion on things. It's just nice to hear. So... He uses good vocabulary. He was um, a blogger. And I mean, I've been sending little snippets to, to D'Angelo, but other than other than him, I know, I'm not posting my daily vocabulary word and all that. So somebody who 
you know, what's actually benefiting from that won't be benefiting anymore right now, which is kind of sad, but it's cool. They'll live. But yeah, I'm just floating. I think I'm going to start vlogging more because I feel like I need that. I need to just, I need to capture my growth. I plan to do more so. I want, you know, the process to be captured also, not just the, the end results and the beginning and end. I want the middle captured too. The, the, the moment's leading right up to it. About to put ranch in the uh, cabinet. I want to see how when I didn't really have much to eat in the refrigerator. I'm going to flip the camera. Just waters, almond milk, some stuff that my uncle left like that. My, you know, nothing much in here. Cookies, you know. This is what I would have made if I, you know, really wanted to. But that's a good 10, 20 minutes, 10 minutes at least. 10 minutes. Think about banging this. I mean, yeah, I got food. Fries. None of this is mine, but I don't eat meat. Um, I don't even want those ice creams no more. You know, I got my broccoli. Low key, I just realized this is broccoli that he had in here, and I should have ate it in his corn because they just gonna get wasted. I don't know how long it lasts. French toast that I don't want to eat, you know. And then cereal. I mean, I got breakfast food, ramen noodles, um, pop tarts. I mean, I'm not gonna starve off the food I got. You know, bread. Um, right, so I can eat everything in this house if I wanted to. That's trash. Um, pancakes, oatmeal, more snacks. Got food, but like, on the thought of actually what I want to eat, there's nothing really in here that I want to eat right now. And I went from feeling that way wholly to, okay, cool, I can eat a salad and the salad i feel like i'm gonna actually start eating it and like it like because i feel like anything that i would have ate because you know i wouldn't feel like eating or being feel like making or eating but that seemed like it was a clutch idea and clutch thing i just need to learn how to grocery shop Discipline myself to cook. I've been wanting to cook some potatoes, but really haven't had the time to really do it. Or I haven't chose to give the time to do it. But, I mean, that's cool. I'm not really stressed out about it. This lettuce with this dressing hit. The raisins help. I've been a little off mentally. But I'll be okay. I actually gotta head out soon. I've been working out more pull-ups and I got some 35 pound dumbbells. That's where I started off like years ago working out.
I like them because it's like pull ups to me. I mean, yeah, it feel like a workout, but not really. Like it's kind of like enjoyment in the torture of it. So, I mean, that's cool. And then I can go from curling to lifting like that. Those type of arm workouts don't seem as gruesome as push-ups, sit-ups, boxing. Because I remember when I first started shallow boxing with myself and that was like a workout. I didn't even do it that much, but man. Imagine if I was good at it. I'm mad because girls kept talking about ASMR, and that's basically what I'm doing right now. Terrible. It would be way better if this last bit was in a bowl. It's so hard to get to. Shout out to whoever bagged that lettuce. That was a good batch. It's number three, y'all. Right. These boys hitting. I'm so glad I made them. <laughs> 